What is up everyone, this is Mike from Mike Gets Well, and today we're gonna be talking about how you can watch the Netflix in HDR on Windows 10 PC. So without any further delay, I'll just get into it. So the first requirement is that you have to have a 4K HDR monitor. It can be done if you have uh, a 1080p monitor or if you have IPS LCD monitor or you have a IPS LED monitor. You can't do it without the 4K HDR monitor. So the first condition is that you have to have a 4K HDR monitor. So the thing is here that even if you have a 4K HDR monitor, you can't still watch uh, the HDR content because there are specific settings that you have to turn on in your monitor. If they are not turned on, you cannot watch the HDR content. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take you guys through these steps so you can see like uh, where you are missing those steps and you can turn on those features in your computer. So if I play a video here, let's say if I'm uh, going to type here HDR, it's gonna show up uh, whichever the HDR content is available. So if you look over here in the movie Bright, it says Ultra HD 4K and the Dolby Atmos sound. But it doesn't show HDR. So I'm gonna show you how you can turn on this feature. So it will say HDR on the same application for Windows of Netflix. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this and close this. So you're supposed to go on display settings. And in display settings, you will see HDR and advanced color settings. It's it's no other settings. It's just similar to the TV settings where you go and turn on the deep HDMI color for your TV HDMI. Here it is HDR and advanced color settings. So as soon as you click on this, you will see that your computer has 2160p 4K HDR monitor. It's 8-bit, but it shows 8-bit. It's supposed to be showing 10 bits, but why it doesn't show because it is not enabled. So you have to go ahead and click on this toggle. It will take a while and it will come back. And then if you check the settings for your 4K HDR monitor here, it will show that you have a 10-bit monitor, which is the HDR10. So I'm gonna keep the changes and go back to the same settings that I talked about. So HDR advanced color settings. Now if you read that you have a 2160p, that's a 4K monitor, you have 60 Hertz is the refresh rate, and then you have 10-bit. That's the color depth now. So now the HDR is on. So if I'm gonna go back and play something on Netflix. So I'm gonna go and type HDR here. So now if I go to the movie Bright that I played earlier and it said 4K Ultra HD, but it didn't say HDR. So let's see now. So now, as you see over here, it says HDR, because now we have the specific settings turned on for uh, for the computer to display HDR content. So the Netflix app detects it and show us uh, the HDR status enabled. So now I'm gonna hit play and see how it uh, plays the HDR. It is really a good print that I'm seeing right now. I can't play the content for long because I don't want to get a copyright hit. So I hope you guys understand that. But it is playing and I can do a full full screen from here. So this is all what you need actually. I'm gonna stop playing because it's playing. If you want me to check for other content, I can check it for Marco Polo because I, I'm sure that this is also in HDR. So yeah, it shows it shows also HDR and Punisher is also in HDR. Then I have uh, the Daredevil, it's also in HD, HDR. So now you have a specific settings on for HDR and you can play any HDR content. And also you can play the uh, HDR video gaming on it. If you wanna play Battlefield 1, I have the Battlefield 1 and uh, right here, it's so messed up my desktop is here, but I have the Battlefield 1, then I have uh, Forza Horizon 3, which is also in HDR. But that's the setting you need for your, uh, for your HDR to display on your monitors, unless you have already turned on these settings. If you have not, then you have to go and enable the HDR and deep color settings in your uh, display settings menu. So just go to display settings and turn on this toggle, which is HDR and advanced color. So that's all from this video, guys. I hope you guys will enjoy it. And uh, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you wanna know all the 
technical and technology related videos. So thank you so much and see you in another video. Peace.